Good morning vlog and welcome to my life. Hello, I am Misha Grimes and I'm in a rush right now because I'm off to my eyelashes appointment. Yes I am. But also the reason I'm vlogging today is because I am going down to London to then tomorrow go to the Prince Trust Awards and I've got my outfit but I'm not quite happy with it. So as I'm down in London I thought I'd do like a little come shopping with me and we could see if I can find any better options for my outfit. So yes, stay tuned, we're gonna do this. I need to go. Toodle pip, love you lots. Let's see what this vlog turns out like. An hour or so later, I've now got eyelashes and I'm rushing because I need to now walk to the bus because everyone else has left me. Mum and dad are off in Bath, Anya, don't know where she is, and yes. I'm currently in a t-shirt which says minimal effort and um, I don't actually know where this is from, I got it from Annie's wardrobe. And then I've got some khaki trackies on and yes, okay, I need to go, Molly's texting me. Okay, toodle pip, see you when I'm on the bus, woohoo! are crashing onto the sand the stars and the moon are standing hand in hand the winter nights go by so slow the lonely nights as cold as the snow the sun was so empty hey Lou. so you may have guessed i made it into top shop i'm currently in the changing rooms this is always the changing room that me and mum come to apart from obviously i'm missing mum but these are the options I've picked up. Okay, they couldn't be any more different if I tried. We've got like a yellow two-piece suit. We've got a red and little shorts, but I don't know if little shorts are appropriate. And then we've got a green stripy trouser on. This is also a better look at what I'm wearing. But yeah, let's now do the trying on. Come shopping with me a bit. Wish me luck. Let's see if any of these are a winner. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I'm just eating a bit of mango, but OMG, okay, my mind has been changed. I first put this suit on without any of this, and I was like, hmm, don't know how to feel about it. Then I put it on with this Topshop t-shirt. I'm actually wearing all Topshop right now. Topshop boots that you would have seen in my what I got for my birthday, and this top, which is also from Topshop, but I got for my birthday. I have the whole outfit together. I'll go to the other mirror and show you how classy does this look. I know it's so extra, but like, I don't even care. Like, I really like it, and I think I prefer it than the original outfit I had planned. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Let me just, let me just do a little walk through you all. It's not the most shapely thing I've ever seen. Like it's a little bit like loose. Like the jacket could be doing a size smaller. But if I like pose like that when I'm on the carpet, red carpet, you know, casual, then I think this could work. I think it looks so fashion forward. And the buttons are a little bit cheap, but oh, don't know. I'm gonna try on the other options as well, just to see. But um, this blazer is 60 pounds and then the trousers, a 40 but I do have stuff to return so it's kind of not going to be as expensive and I suppose £100 for a suit cohort isn't too bad but let's try this. Okay so this is look two and this is like not Topshop it's one of the collections here I'll check the label in a second let me see if I can reach it but I kind of equally love this but don't think it's appropriate to be at the event because it's shorts so this is Honey Punch, never heard of it in my life, but it's blooming cute. I feel like I want this, but for a different occasion, but I can't really justify buying two cohorts in one day. Like, it's so sassy and put together. I love it. Buy money, buy money. I'm now trying to FaceTime mum, because obviously I have to get mum's opinion. Even if she's not here, we're still getting her opinion, you know. Oh, this is just so adorable, I can't. Why well, can't I buy everything? Topshop, you're slaying at the moment. Okay, so we are on the third and final look. And as we can see, this is so ultra sassy and I really like it. But the only have the blazer in an eight and it's really big. And then the trousers, 
are in a six and they're just like not flattering. Like you know when they just don't fit you right and they're just a bit too big? That's what this is going on. But I do think if this fit me, this would be sassy as hell, but it's not appropriate for what I'm doing or where I'm going. Um, but imagine if you like sucked it in, like it would look so nice. Like I would generally, I'm glad this doesn't fit me because otherwise I'd have to buy all three of them, which would be ridiculous to a new level. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, this is really cool. I want, I, I want this for another occasion, but I did also pick up this skirt to try with the blazer, but it's not the right checkered print. It's not gonna look as cute as the shorts. No. I think this is the winner. I think it is. I think it's the winning one, um, which is exciting, but totally not what I expected to be wearing for the Princess Awards. Anyway, so I'm now gonna go and pay and then head off to my nan's, because that's where I'm staying tonight before I meet Scarlett tomorrow for the awards. So yes, let's go. It's also like half six, so I'm getting a wee bit peckish. So yeah, there's that to be Hello, I don't know if you can hear me because like, it's really loud in here, but basically I'm just getting an Uber to Victoria because I've just paid. Yes, I did lots of damage and Uber seems to hate me today. It's taking so long and I don't know why. I should have got the tube, but I've got a big suitcase and like, I can't really be bothered. But yeah, I'm just gonna now make my way back. It's 7.22, Ooh, it's late, but Oh, my lips are so sore and I thought I had lip balm with me, but I don't know where it's gone and that's stressing me out. I need to plug in my phone, it's got no battery. Okay, yeah. Uber, hurry up. Misha wants to get her train home. Well, to my nans. Same difference. Hello, so this isn't a very good sign that my camera battery is flashing, but you know, maybe... Or not, because the whole thing died. So, didn't even give me a chance to testiculate and explain. So, you may have guessed by the wallpaper, or oh, my mum's FaceTiming me, that I made it back to my nan's. Hello. Hello. I was just giving the vlog an update, but I'll hang up on the vlog and I'll speak to you because you're more oh. important. Oh, so See you in a second, people. So, hello. I'm back. I'm fully pin curled again because my hair just completely dropped. And um, look who is still here. <laughs> 59 minutes later. Yeah, 58 minutes and 57, 58 seconds. It's now 59 minutes. We've been on FaceTime for 59 minutes. I've only not seen her since, what, 12 o'clock today? So, 12, not even, oh, it's officially 12 hours since I've seen you, Mum. Okay, and I'm in Bath, where my poor little hubby is feeling not well, so he's asleep in the room and I'm in the toilet talking to me. <laughs> Also, I've got the House of CB um, email ad up behind this. That's why Mum's got some boobies next to her face. Oh, okay, that's rather worrying. Okay, you better, you better take the camera away. It's so weird because seeing you through the camera, it's literally like you're here. Like it's literally like oh, it's majorly zoomed in. Oh, you can oh. see my my runny nose. I've got such a runny nose at the moment. Yeah. What was that? Make sure you've got a charge to your camera, your battery. Oh, you yeah, know, I know. I've swapped the batteries and I've got another battery with me. Mum's just checking I've got everything because she's a good mummy. Good. Okay. okay oh, it's now officially been an hour that we've been talking. Okay. I swear we don't talk this much too. But the thing is, I don't think we realise when we talk to each other when we're like watching telly. Because like, when I'm not with someone and someone's not there, yeah. I then realise because I'm like, oh, like the other day. Uh, it's hard because I'm talking to a camera and I'm talking to mum at the same time. I don't really know where to look. But the other day, you know when I, you were doing my decorations and I was in the living room, I got yeah. so much work done. I it was know. so weird because I kept on going to turn to you to, like, tell you things and you weren't there. Like, even today, I've got a fly on me or something. Even today, how many times did we text each other in this 12 I... hours that we've been together? How many phone so... calls? So you said to me that you said something at one o'clock. It literally took me, I think, about three minutes to get to that string of conversation because it was so high up. Yeah. We just okay. can't help ourselves. We're obsessed with each other, but in a good way. In a good way. Okay. In a healthy way. Very healthy. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Love you lots. Well, you got an exciting day tomorrow. This, like light, a... this lighting's actually really oh, nice. Do you, do you know how to bow? Oh my gosh, no, I was saying that to Nan. I was like, if I meet Prince Charles, do I have to curtsy or do they not do that anymore? <laughs> She's like, I don't think they do that anymore. <laughs> Doing to the queen, but I don't think they do it to I feel like there's a wrong way and a right way to cut, so you have to put your legs in a certain order, and I don't know the order. Oh. <laughs> just, just saying. Oh, the jungle brothers, because you're not going to meet him, so never mind. I'm determined to meet Prince Charles, but Mum says I won't. I'm making it my mission. <laughs> okay. Mission completed. Okay. Bye. Anyway, love, love you lots, mate. Mm, sleep well, have fun at breakfast tomorrow. I'm very jealous. Send me pictures. Bye. Remember to send me pictures. Of course, I will. Love you. Bye. Hello. So, I'm back, and I'm finally going to explain. I don't even know what I'm explaining. But yeah, so that was Mother. Just been on FaceTime to Mum, because, you know, can't help myself. Um, so, yes, I think what I was trying to say originally was that I'm at my nan's. You can tell by the background. And um, I didn't get here until about 9pm, which was such a crazy malarkey, because basically the trains were all delayed because I was signalling problems so I was literally sat at the station for like half an hour like mm, mm, mm. but I made it it's fine also I ended up getting the tube from Oxford Circus back to Victoria because no Ubers wanted to drive me they were all cancelling on me and I just couldn't be bothered with it so I took my suitcase also my suitcase is broken there's a wheel like pinging off like you know when like the, the plastic like unmoulds bit of a nightmare but anyway yes I shouldn't be so awake because it's midnight and like I'm exhausted but I'm also excited so I'm all like that but yeah so taking off my makeup I'm still in my clothes my dad was like me again so I think my camera like I don't even know what happened but it just didn't continue recording me but basically I just blabbered on for about another 10 minutes talking about absolutely nothing but anyway so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog you can pretty tell I'm home now but you guys have many more vlogs to come stay tuned for my Prince's Trust Award vlog that is coming on Monday maybe and yes lots more London vlogs to come so give this video a like subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time bye bye